what is going on everyone this is wicked and today i'll show you a tutorial on how to convert your partitions to either xt4 or f2fs so what is f2fs partition because a guy asked me in the comment sections what are the advantages of using f2fs instead of xt4 xt4 comes by default with your phone so if you don't know what uh, they're about until now uh, what they were about until now then your device is still running xt4 because uh, roms do not modify these uh, petitions so your phone may be right now running xt4 but m2 f2fs so f2fs is a um, type of partition you know a partition is something um, you saw while formatting your drive for example you will see on the windows a system partition like ntfs like fat32 like ax fat you know these kind of uh, partitions so uh, we're gonna be talking about the f2fs right now the advantages of using f2fs is that it is reported to be faster than xt4 and it also offers more cash so if you take a look here as you may see my cache partition is currently having a file system of f2fs same does the data partition so f2fs both of them are running f2fs okay um, now in order to have a working f2fs partition you'll need a compatible kernel and a compatible rom not all roms all roms are compatible with with f2fs and if you install a rom which only supports xt4 like for example a samsung rom with a samsung kernel um, you will get a boot loop and if you did that's why you got a boot you got into a boot loop this rom the cm optimized a uh, um, optimized rom along with the gdc team kernel is so actually supports the f2fs file partition and that's how i'm running to i'm able to run this rom on an uh, on a f2fs partition but this tutorial is uh, about how to change, how to switch back and forth between xt4 and f2fs. And the first important, really important thing you'll need to take into, into consideration is that while switching X, um, file system partitions, like, uh, you know, um, from f2fs to xt4 or from xt4 to, F, to f2fs, your internal storage will be wiped. And what do I mean by that? Internal storage means internal SD card, not the external one, not that little micro SD card you got in here, but the internal memory. Internal memory, your Galaxy S4 comes by default with. So if you have, you know, tons of photos, videos, important stuff right there, please make sure you back backup them uh, by using a USB cable to the PC itself. Now, you may be wondering. If I put a ROM on internal SD card, then I got into recovery, switch it to uh, a different file format, and it erased all the all the you know ROMs, include all the files including the ROM you were about to flash, and now you're stuck into recovery because. I've tested it, the mount USB storage and it doesn't work on my device. I don't know if it uh, is a bug or something, but it doesn't work. The only solution you may get a workaround with it is by is to have a uh, USB to OTG cable. It's an OTG cable along with a uh, you know stick, flash drive. You should put the ROM in it and then connect it into recovery and flash it from here. If you accidentally uh, stored it on your internal SD card and uh, by changing the system file you erased it. Another method you can flash a new ROM after you got a new partition is by um, you know putting a ROM on the external SD card because you won't mess with that. So again the internal memory will be wiped during this process. So after we've cleared this up 
we should get into recovery right now. So reboot. And let's um, get into recovery. Okay, bye bye. CM13, because I'm gonna uninstall this, uh, wipe this ROM and restore my uh, KitKat backup. Um, so yeah, these are the steps that you want to follow carefully. Right now, as you saw earlier, I'm running F2FS, but I'm gonna be converting to XT4. It's the same procedure for going from XT4 to F2FS, so you just have to take into consideration the file types right now. So take a look and take caution while following this tutorial these steps because they're really important and you don't want to mess with system partitions file systems you know these are really dangerous stuff you can end up by messing the entire device if you delete you know something like the kernel like the uh, touch with recovery project the download mode will still work for you okay so while we are into the TouchWiz recovery, team recovery project, sorry, oh, I always say TouchWiz, damn, damn, okay, so, if you want to convert to a new file system type, like the F2FS or the XT4, first of all, you'll need to wipe your device, like doing, by doing this, wiping your device like this won't harm anything but cache, data, and system partition so no internal sd card right now then you're gonna get again into wipe and choose advanced wipe and choose for example i'm gonna be choosing cache repair or change file system click on this and as you may see it says it says mount point cache slash, slash cache and file system is f2fs so we want to convert this into xt4 and you should choose change file system and select xt4 so change cache to xt4 yes if you have xt4 here written here we have to do is to get into change file system and select f2fs but this is already f2fs so we'll need to convert into xt4 back okay so xt4 is actually working on all platforms on all roms so that's why everything, every ROM is running on XT4 because it's universal. But some ROMs run on, run better on F2FS, and that's why we convert to F, F2FS if the ROM supports it. So right now I want to get back to my Samsung ROM, and that's why I will convert it to XT4 because Samsung ROMs don't really like F2FS partitions. Okay, so we will switch to XT4 by swiping to change to XT4. So formatting using make x2 f x2 4 fs it should be a really you know fast step it shouldn't take a lot all right now it's formatting cache really okay so done we should click back 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 until we see the home screen again so again click wipe advanced wipe and now let's take a look at the system the system is already xt4 so we don't need to worry about this because it's already running xt4 data should be on f2fs as you may see here because i converted it and now it's the point where um this is the point where your internal storage will be wiped out so again take caution your internal storage all your files will be wiped out so after you back up then on your pc you are able right now to if you care about your data if you don't care just wipe it up so change file system xt4 change data to xt4 and right now your internal storage is being uh, erased and your data is being switched to xt4 or f2fs depending on what you prefer so that's how you convert the partition file systems and we're back on xt4 Stable XT4, long live XT4. Uh, test it out. I tested out F2FS for three days, for maybe four. And uh, to be honest, I haven't really noticed a big difference. Maybe the cache will will make um, some differences after a longer period of time. You know when the cache builds up and the voice device slows down. 
that's where you might get you may get better results with uh, F2FS. Maybe in benchmark also, also you may get better scores. But uh, yeah, that's how you switch back and forth between different system partitions. By the way, um, you don't want to mess with other partitions here. So you don't want to mess with system, you don't want to mess with... If you want to change your microSD card partition, yeah, it's fine. But take in mind that every, every time you change up the partition, it will wipe your storage, your partition, okay? You don't want to mess with double card cache or no other USB OTG other partitions. So after you've done that, you are ready to install a new ROM on your device. And uh, right now I have a backup on my uh, SD card, and that's why I'm gonna be selecting it. And as you may see, one of light KitKat, and I will just restore it right now and uh, yeah that was it so thank you for watching guys if you like my video please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right now to my channel by doing so you'll keep me motivating doing this kind of stuff for you and uh, of course please make sure you if you want to keep in touch with the wicked community make sure you follow me on instagram at let's get wicked so thank you for watching guys wicked is out take care bye bye